Hello! Here's an interesting question for you. Across the whole world, how many people do you think actively suffer from the effects of obsessive compulsive disorder on a day-to-day -day basis? All of them, apparently. Now, there are two competing schools of thought on this. According to a white paper by the Psychiatric Clinics of North America, around 2.3% of the population suffer from OCD. However, conflicting evidence comes from the university of people who self-diagnose on Facebook, who suggests that this number is more like 100%. If you think obsessive compulsive disorder is a serious affliction that cripples people's lives, you're dead wrong. Of course, it is a serious affliction that cripples the lives of people who actually suffer from it, but to everyone else it's just a vague word that means I'm tidy and quirky and, and interesting. Please, somebody notice how different I am. Let me demonstrate what I'm driving at with this one. So there's a page on Facebook called OCD Nightmares, which is just filled with things that at most are minor annoyances. I'm sure you'll have come across this kind of thing before. People dramatically overreacting to images like this, when in real life it wouldn't actually occupy more than two seconds of thought in their vacuous heads. This guy writes, I had to have lunch with this staring at me today. It was goading me, taunting me, staring. What was he so worked up about? This Fanta bottle. My immediate reaction to this is just, why not order the Fanta, and then the machine will sort itself out. Order the Fanta and stop whining. But then I looked closer at it and realised it wasn't even an automated vending machine. It's just a regular drinks cabinet. I know opening a bloody fridge and moving a bottle is an arduous task that takes a team of thousands, but you'd think if your precious OCD was that bothered, you might give it a whirl. Moving onwards, here's an example of one of the many people who seem to confuse obsessive compulsive disorder with the highly unique and irregular skill of just being able to notice things. Christina writes, I'm so OCD, I noticed the white one too. I need meds. And then she throws in some little images of a, a jaundiced face with giant water balloons glued to its cheeks? I, I don't know. Christina is referencing this image, and indeed, there is a white M&M where it shouldn't be. Well done! Though, clearly you're not very good at being OCD, because neither you nor anyone else on this page noticed the green m and I swallowed it in two seconds. I'm clearly more OCD than you. Maybe I need meds. You don't see this kind of social media wankery with something like Crohn's disease. And that's interesting because Crohn's disease affects almost exactly the same percentage of the population as OCD. The same goes for other mental disorders like PTSD, which also affects roughly the same number of adults. But you don't see people going around claiming to have post-traumatic stress disorder. I've just realised that is a terrible example. Look, here's the thing. The same idiots who claim to have OCD just because they remove the leftover McDonald's wrappers from their car once a month are the same types of people who share stuff on Facebook about how mental illnesses should be taken seriously. I absolutely agree with this. And it's a shame they don't. Because if you want mental and physical illnesses to be treated equally, it's about time you started acting like it. Because you wouldn't go around pretending to have cancer, or a missing leg, or lupus. Do you have lupus? Do you? Do you have lupus? It's not lupus. Didn't think so. If you think you have obsessive compulsive disorder, or, or even lupus, then go see a doctor. I finally have a case of lupus. Look, I am really, really pleased for you that a two-minute Facebook personality quiz revealed to you that you're a special snowflake, but please stop sharing images like this. Incidentally, this is an official test that they use in clinical trials, but not to determine if you've got OCD, just that you have eyes. Oh, and in case you're wondering at this stage, no. 
I don't personally suffer from OCD. In fact, I have spent quite a lot of conscious mental effort over the past few years developing what I like to think of as anti-OCD, and I've been doing this in secret up until right now with this video. Here's how it works. If I see a cushion, I'll often turn it upside down just for fun. This is how I hang my toilet paper. Picture frames? Too straight, my friends. Oh look, pillows matching. Bollocks to that. You may have also noticed that at some point since you started watching, I've offset the entire video by just five pixels on these two sides. It's not flush with the player anymore. Some men just want to watch the world burn. And I will carry on doing stuff like this for as long as people claim to have a serious mental disorder simply because they like to alphabetize their DVDs like every other human on the planet. Unless you physically can't leave the house, unless you've spent an hour every day alphabetizing your socks, then I don't want to hear about it. Anyway, point of the story is, if you think you've got a serious mental defect, put your phone down and go see a healthcare professional. You never know, they might actually congratulate you for being special and unique. Just like everyone else. Hello! If you're new here and like what you just saw, then why not click the subscribe button? It'd be great to have you stick around! If you're one of the old schoolers who's seen a few of my videos and thinks, you know what, this guy Zeke, he tries hard, he deserves a dollar a month, then why not hit the old Patreon button? You get a lot out of it in return. And speaking of the cats and kittens who support this channel, these guys! These guys right here, they, they know what's up. Yes! What's next? What can we do next? Oh, I'll tell you what's next, actually. I know exactly what's next. Your child doesn't have ADHD. Okay? He's got... ADNC. A dire need of choke slamming. Seriously, stop relying on made-up disorders and just discipline your kid properly. I don't want to hear that racket when I'm in the supermarket. It's distracting, okay? Some of us are over here trying our hardest to masturbate. <laughs>